What up, Melvin Severed here, and today there are marquee matchups. I believe this is week five. Now, usually I'd have this video out like within an hour of these dropping, but uh, I was at the cinema watching Doctor Strange, which is fantastic, by the way. Um, but anyhow, yeah, which is why this is a bit late, so uh, let's get straight into it. So the first one we've got is Dortmund versus Schalke. Two Dortmund players, two Schalke players, 11 Bundesliga players, 11 nationalities, minimum chemistry of 95, and uh, yeah, they do not need to be gold, but... You know, I'm using goals purely because there are so many nationalities and they're, they're relatively cheap anyway. I don't think, I think the only person that goes for over a grand in this team is Campbell. Um, and yeah, I mean, you, you could go with other players, of course, but you could probably pick him up for 1,500 if you snipe him and the rest of them go for under 1,000. Uh, the two Schalke players I've got are Iogo who is uh, literally, I'm pretty sure he's like 800. Yeah, there you go. You would easily be able to get him. Uh, Nastasic, who I'm surprised isn't more because of his obscure nationality and he's a shelter player, so you obviously need him, but he isn't. Um, like, is Nuri Sahin actually a lot? I didn't check. Okay, the, oh no, he's not actually. Yeah, he's probably a thousand as well. Like 1,500 absolute max. Uh, What's the other uh, Dortmund player that I've got? Oh yeah, it's this centre mid. If I can actually get to him, Moreno, I think is that M Moreno. Um, yeah, again, probably around 1,200, something like that. So overall for this entire team, I'll just show you it uh, individually. I wouldn't recommend you follow what I'm doing exactly. Just use it as a guide because, you know, when people do go out and do this, and I know I don't get a huge amount of views, but sometimes these videos can get 5, 6k views. Marquee matchups are usually about 1 to 3k. So even if 1% of people do that uh, from 3,000, that's 30 people going out and buying these players, which means there's less on the market, of course. So the prices are obviously draw, drawn up, and that's only 1%. I guarantee a lot more will literally just screenshot these, go out and buy the players, and then, yeah, like, I'd say 5%, 10% probably do that of my viewers. But uh, it's not a problem, but there are so many players. There are so many other alternatives. I mean, these are just a selection on my bench. Uh, for example, you could probably use him, but I've, I've obviously need... Well, actually, yeah, I could. I could do that, but Berkey's untradeable for me anyway because obviously I've got the other two Dortmund players. I'm rambling. This is how I've done it. I'm going to submit it now. It's a 25k pack, so do not maximum I'd be spending for that. Maximum. Premium, yeah, it is a 25k pack, it is 15k. Don't go over that, it's not worth it if you're spending more than that. Um, this one gives a gold players pack, which I think is just a 12.5k pack, but this one's relatively cheap. You just need three spot at Moscow players, three CSKA Moscow players, so it's the Moscow Derby, or whatever they call it, uh, obviously I don't really know, um, but seven Russian players, and the exact chemistry has to be 100. Now, Russian central midfielders are going for a premium. They're going for 3 4k. So what I've done, I've converted this striker, Kershikov, um, into a centre forward. You will have to do the no-loss glitch, and I'm sorry I go through it every single video, but I always get comments, why is my chemistry not like yours? Because people don't actually listen to what I'm saying. So literally just type into YouTube, FIFA 17, no-loss glitch. You'll find a very easy way within 20 minutes to play 10 games without it affecting your record. That'll give you the bonus chemistry to match your chemistry to what mine is. The reason mine's what it is, is because these players are pack pulled, so the loyalty bonus is already given. And I'm sorry, I'm giving people who know that a headache, do apologise, but, you know, I like to try and be thorough in the videos. But anyhow, yeah, even this guy, wow, even this guy is going for a lot. I didn't expect that, I really didn't. Like, this is the problem with... All of these players, it's not going to be cheap. You're going to have to sit there and snipe, or you're going to have to pay for the players like I can't physically give a cheap solution because there is none like I, I thought this was relatively cheap but uh, Russian players bar the goalkeeper like I bought him for 550 coins but as soon as people know what the parameters are then they're going to price fix I think this guy would be relatively cheap yeah okay he, he he's probably 1500 but unless you really really want to I would just stick to the ones that are cheap like this is not cheap I thought it was but I uh, Strangely enough, the players like Eremenko because and Danny are like 1,000. They're the cheapest players, but they're the highest rated ones, purely because they're not Russian. So, uh, yeah, you can see Spartak Moscow players that I've got. I've got uh, this Bushetti guy. 
Um, we've got Mauricio, I'm butchering the names, I apologise. Uh, Glushakov, I think I got that one right. And uh, the three CSKA Moscow players we've got is uh, Nababkin, uh, this centre back who I've got in the CDM, of course, uh, Ignishevich, and uh, Br Brutus, uh, you know what? There you go, you can see. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that that's the team I've got now. This, if you were going to buy it, probably would cost 20, 30k, 25k. So it's really not worth it. Uh, unless you, you know, really want it. I mean, a gold players pack, I'm sure that's just a 12.5. So I would recommend you do the Dortmund Schalke one if you can do it for 10 to 15k. But um, yeah, this one, however, is worth it. Uh, well, I say that it's only a gold pack, so maybe it's not. But I'm not sure how much these players are. Are they getting price fixed? No, surprisingly. Okay, so he's actually probably just about a thousand. What about this guy? You do only need one from each club. Yeah, so a thousand for him as well. So you have to be clever with this one. Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. If you do not know the league, by the way, it is the South African FL. So, you know, when you're searching, that is the um, clubs you need. And you only need one player from each of those clubs. Now, you need 11 different clubs, but it does not say they have to be from the South African League. And I believe there's only two licensed teams on FIFA, which are these two anyway. So what I've done, I've picked a nation and I've went with Netherlands and I've literally picked all of these players that are going to go for absolute chips purely because, you know, they're, they're not necessary. Like 350 coins there. We've got this goalkeeper. I highly doubt he's really going to sell for anything. Yeah, there you go. 600 coins. Uh, you could probably get him for even cheaper. We've got this gold centre back who's got 400 coin bids on, but he goes for 500. Like, just very, very cheap players. Wijnaldum's probably the most expensive, but I don't think he's more than 2k. Um, we've got this Fiac guy, um, this Spearings guy, uh, De Kogal, and then Van Persie who's also cheap. So, what I've literally tried to do is just pick a nation. And uh, obviously, you need 11 different clubs, so it you know, pick a, a common nation, but pick players that aren't going to be commonly used. I know why Naldem is, but again, he doesn't have a lot of pace. Um, and I, you know, I've had to put him in for the rating because you do need to get 74. But just try and fill it with as many silvers as you can. There are infinite methods to do this, but you don't have to do anything with South African players, like apart from the two that you need. And uh, yeah, you need 100 chemistry, though, so you will need strong links. What I've tried to do is use the right mid, and I've got a centre back there, of course, but if there's a South African right back for Kaiser Chiefs for cheap, use him. And then section off that bit, and then have strong links going to your centre back, centre mid, and striker. And the rest of the other team, because they all link anyway, can be weak links, and then you'll still get the chemistry. So, uh, yeah, that probably didn't make it any easier for you to understand, but... It's hard making these videos and trying to, you know, cater to every single person and uh, explain it in a way that you know to some people who may struggle with squad builder challenges. Of course, there'll be loads of you watching that probably just watch because you're sub to me and you already know how to do these, but they are supposed to be informational. Right, the final team is Birmingham versus Aston Villa. Now, you need two Villa players, two Birmingham City players, a minimum of eight nationalities, 76 overall, and then 95 minimum team chemistry. Now, you don't have to use championship players, but because of the nationalities that you need eight, you're probably going to have to because you also need 95 chemistry. So, uh, ordinarily, I would probably have tried to get like English... Aston Villa and Birmingham players and then go to the Premier League, get low rated goals, but you can't because you need eight nationalities. Now, the players aren't actually selling for much. I mean, I know it says 10,000 bid, but no one's actually bidding 340 coins for this guy. Sorry, 350 coins. So maybe you'll be able to get them for cheap. But again, these players are all going to be price fixed because people know what the parameters are. Um, I've tried to get a couple of silvers in there who obviously go for nothing because they're quite common and uh islands a common nationality in the uh the championship anyway but i've went for other players like yedinak um the three villa well i've got three villa players but you only need two i've got uh are you is that yeah and then uh yedinak and then uh the two birmingham city players i've got are uh shotten at the back and uh keep the cdm the netherlands CDM, but uh, yeah, the rest of them I've just filled with uh, gold players. The only Premier League player I've got in there is Kieran Gibbs because 
the rating wasn't high enough because I've got three silvers in there, so I obviously needed to bring it up. But anyway, I've been rambling for far too long, so I'm going to submit that. You get a premium gold pack for that, 1,000 coins, and then for completing the whole set, I didn't actually read what you get, which is kind of stupid. You get a premium gold pack. Is that it? Is that honestly it? Wow. These marquee matchups, time and time again, they, I think they're getting progressively worse in terms of the stuff you're getting. Like the first one, they were giving away loads, but uh, yeah, like you're probably going to have to spend about 50k to get all of this, so you might as well just buy the packs themselves. Like, I, personally, I don't think they're worth it anymore. Um, but uh, occasionally there'll be certain ones, like the 25k pack, for example, the Dortmund one. Individually, it's worth doing that and then just forget about the other three because the rewards you're getting, like, they aren't, they aren't terrific, to be honest. Like, two 7.5k packs, a 5k pack, a 12.5k pack, and a 25k pack. I thought it was Campbell that we just got back, but uh, it, it wasn't. So, yeah, I mean... Who knows, I might get something great, but from what I've seen, like, this this just doesn't seem worth it this week. So, uh, yeah, I'll still bring you the video, of course. I'll do every single squad building challenge, regardless of whether it's worth it for me or not. Purely because, you know, YouTube, and I want to actually get 100% of the squad builder challenges completed. Um, I'm probably sending things to my club that I could sell for value, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll sort through that at a later date. I want to get this video out as soon as possible. It's already dragged out for a bit longer than I hoped. Mustachio, uh, the Villarreal centre-back is who we got there. Did we get anyone else? Um, <laughs> it's a shame Genoa players aren't going for anything anymore because uh, he was selling for 2 to 4k and now he's 500 coins because, of course, that marquee matchup is now gone. But uh, yeah, right, this is the one where I'm hoping we can get something good. It's not a walkout, could be a screamer, it's not a screamer. Shit flare, probably not going to be great. Moya, I think that is. Yeah, 81 rated, so yeah, does, I don't think there'll be anything of value in this pack, really. Um, nah, so they definitely were not worth it for me because I'm giving an estimated value of 50k that I would have had to spend if I didn't have these players in my club. And what I've got back is probably 20, 25. It's definitely not worth it. If you're really desperate, go ahead. But personally, I would only do the Dortmund one to get the 25k pack. And do not spend more than 15k because that's hard to get back unless... Well, if you get some of the players that you need, of course, they'll go for a bit more. But uh, I'm rambling again, so I'm just going to end the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.